Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about leaving a legacy. Think about it. When you have left this earth, what will you leave behind? What will people remember about you? How will you have impacted them? A few weeks ago, a friend of mine passed away very unexpectedly. He was 24. And as I thought about my friend Nathan and the year that I worked with him and got to know him, I realized that he had taught me some really important lessons that I hadn't realized until I thought about it. And so now I would like to share those with you. First, our lives touch way more people than we realize. Wherever you go, whatever you're doing, you are impacting people. People are watching you and how you act and what you say, and they will remember. I know that Nathan lived in several different states over the years, and it was amazing to see how many friends he had. In my department alone at work, I know he impacted dozens of people's lives there in a very, very positive way. So just remember that your life is also, right now, impacting dozens, if not hundreds of other people. The question is, are you impacting them positively or negatively? The second lesson I learned is to always work diligently and to help others often. Nathan was one of the most hardworking people that I know. I don't know how he did it, but he could fix just about any situation and could complete any task you gave to him in record-setting time. And then when he finished his work, he always turned around and helped others around him. And in my department, that is a huge blessing because there's always plenty of work to be done. So his incredible work ethic and his kindness towards others is something that my co-workers and I talk about all the time. Third lesson, live life to the fullest. I didn't know Nathan extremely well, but I know that he stayed pretty active. He was really well educated, he was a hard worker, he was like running all the time, he went and visited his family. I know he also liked photography and like storm chasing. Basically, I don't think this guy ever sat still for very long. And I think that's a good reminder for us to not waste the precious time that we have. Find a hobby. Do some exercise, go on a trip, live life to the full, and enjoy every moment. And that leads right into the next lesson, which is life is short, so chase your dream. If you have a true dream, passion, goal, go for it. Do not wait around. Nathan left Walmart to go move down to Arizona to work for a new company this new place with these new people and just kind of this whole new world to pursue a job that he really wanted. I don't know if this was his dream job or not, but I just know that he had the courage to leave everything that he knew where he'd made his home for the past year and pick up and move to this new place. His example has made me bolder about pursuing my own dreams career goals no matter where it takes me. As Gandalf says to Bilbo in The Hobbit, the world isn't in your maps and books. It's out there. And Nathan was one of those people that grabbed his hat and his coat and his camera and ran out the door on his adventure. So the lesson for us is don't wait for life to pass you by. Go on your adventure right now. So there you have it friends. Those are some lessons that I learned from Nathan and just the way that he's inspired me. And I hope that you have been inspired by him too. I would just ask that you take some time not only to think about what kind of a legacy you're going to leave behind, but take some time to appreciate and love the people that are in your life right now. Because life is short, friends. And that is perhaps the greatest lesson.